Our guest today is Claudia Veek. She's the CEO of Cameo. It's a statewide network of organizations that help entrepreneurs and small businesses grow and start their own businesses. Mm -hmm. So thanks for coming. Yeah, thanks for inviting me, Reese. What can people do to support this whole uh, embracing of, of small business as an alternative to labor so that when we think of jobs, we also think of small business? Everybody talks about the importance of small business and how it's the engine of economic recovery. How many times have we heard that? But when it comes to allocating our precious tax dollars, almost no funding goes to support the success that I've been talking about today on what small businesses need to succeed, the, su the supportive training, uh, technical assistance, and lending. It goes to attracting foreign-owned businesses to locate in California, which is, I'm not saying that's bad to do, but um, you know the tax incentives or tax exemptions really don't benefit home base or small businesses. They, they um, benefit larger businesses that have more manufacturing, more equipment based. Well, We're you hear about big corporations that want to, that want to, that are given mm -hmm. these sweetheart deals to, to, right. to, to move onto a piece mm -hmm. of land. Right. That, you know, they get it for pennies on the dollar or whatever. And Just there's no tracking of the job creation from those tax giveaways right. and those business attraction strategies. Many cities now know that business attraction is not going to pay off for them, but they're still wedded. They're, we can, they're addicted to the business attraction uh, approach because that's the way they've been trained in economic development or planning school. We're saying shift and look at what you, the talent in your own communities. And a lot of um, rural areas, for example, Humboldt County has a prosperity network and it's been 12 years in the making and they have turned around their economy depending on fishing and, and um, forestry into um, grass-fed beef, wineries, construction, health care. I mean, they really have turned it around. Wow. You can do that. Humboldt made, you know, made in Humboldt. Mm -hmm. uh, San Francisco has a very vital group called SF Made that has been uh, supporting local manufacturing. Uh, there is a fantastically exciting trend towards maker spaces and co-working spaces. These are all ways of cultivating local economic development. And how do you, how do you how are you guys related to the maker spaces and the and the work uh, shared workspaces and that kind of thing? Well, that's a good question. I think that our members need to do more, and uh, Cameo's role is to uh, show them that trend and help push them to provide services uh, to these new entities. Uh, in fact, many of the people who are using the maker spaces are the millennials, the Gen Gen Ys. Um, under 35s, and uh, they need business planning assistance. They need financial management information. Um, and they're not all software engineers. Some of them are welders and doing elect interesting electronics work. Some are artists. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a whole artisan class of people who are using the maker spaces. Yeah, working with yeah. tools that they didn't have access to. And they're going to need loans out. to purchase equipment and to grow. And if they go to a a bank looking kind of funky, you know, their welding outfit on, they're not necessarily going to get a loan. No, no startup or early stage is going to get a loan. And our um, credit cards are very high interest now. So that's why they may need to go to a local nonprofit lender for help. And they, would, they, they might be successful at, at, a, at a local nonprofit lender? Is it, you know, if so they can show that they can pay the loan back. Well, I mean, that's always sort of important. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's the key to there. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, the make of the uh, the shared workspaces. People are using them for a number of things, either just to as a place to get out of their house right, if they right. don't want to be at home, or uh, somebody suggested to me. Uh, uh, I'm doing some business over in Walnut Creek, mm -hmm. and there's a a, a a space over there, and and somebody said, well, you could have like. You know, you just rent your mm -hmm. thing. You could have an office always over here so you can meet people. It's an interesting option mm -hmm. rather than either having, mm -hmm. forcing people to come over here or, you know. Well, back in the 90s, I started one of the first business incubators out of the Renaissance Entrepreneurship Center. And it's still going strong today, I'm happy to say, in downtown San Francisco. Oh, wow. And that was the beginning of creating an intentional community of entrepreneurs. And they have little spaces, and then the ideas, and when and they get a lot of support while they're there. And plus, they have each other 
mm -hmm. and all that back and forth cross-fertilization. The idea is then when you're ready to move out, you move into a larger space. But um, nowadays people, because of technology, people can stay small and they like the atmosphere of being with other people too. So the incubation model has morphed into what you might call maker spaces and hubs.